Hi, Kanok to Ipin, Adira Indupiakdun Sinak. My name is John Sinak. I'm here from. Sh I was born and raised here at Shishmaraf, Alaska. I li have lived most of my life here right at the village. And um, I've seen all kinds of changes. Um, And we had an airplane once a month back then, and um, we had a yearly ship called the North Star that brought in gas, oil, and all the gro basic groceries that we need. But most of our um, main livelihood came from the area itself, or food, or birds, birds, animals were from here, fish. But basically, the weather was always the same. It was always stable. The ice was there at a certain time of the year in October. And um, it would start to break up um, maybe in May for uh, uh, leads out in the ice where people can hunt for ugrus. So, and then the ice would finally be gone by some, sometimes mid-July. Um, then the season would start all over again. Basically, that's how life was, and it was always like that. But it has changed quite a bit now. But basically, that's how it's changed. This, the earliest I've seen, I know in 2001, the earliest I've seen the ice completely go away was June 15. But this year, by June 1st, the ice was gone. So times have changed quite a bit. We fish for tomcods and smelts um, right, up, right up on the south side of the island, right at the channels, um, right after the ocean freezes over. Um, because before the ocean freezes over, there would be no fish. And only if the ocean freezes over, we'd start getting fish. And last year, we finally got some tom cods and smelts in um, January. Normally by December, it would, the lagoon ice would be maybe four feet thick by December. By December last year, maybe there's only about a foot thick. Um, and then the ocean was still open in December, and then it finally froze over a little bit in January to do all that fishing. And um, traditionally, we've had north winds when we were when I was younger, so the ice never did ever blow out. Now we have a lot of east wind and southeast wind, so the ice doesn't stay. It breaks up and move and blows away, and then there'd be no more fish at the lagoon again until the ice come back in.